All right, in this video we're looking to find the probability that z is less than negative 1.28 or z is greater than positive 1.28. Let's draw a bell curve because the z random variable is going to have a standard normal distribution. That's a bell curve with a mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1. Okay, so I've drawn a little bell curve here. Put my z axis on the bottom, labeling the center at 0. Now, 1.28 is positive, so that would be on the right hand side. And negative 1.28, of course, is on the left because it's negative. Draw a line where those two values are on the curve. Now, from here, let's look at what this statement says. It says that z is less than negative 1.28. So less than would be this part, right? And then it has the word or, and it says z is greater than 1.28. So greater than 1.28. The word or in probability means we should add the two answers together. So this is the left side of the statement. We'll find that area, and then we will add it to this area here. So if I look up 1.28 on the Z chart, I will get the area from here to here. That's not exactly what I want, but it'll um, allow me to get this area if I'm looking for that. And likewise, if I look up 1.28 here, it'll give me the area from here to here. Now since these numbers are the same, looking up 1.28 is all I have to do to get this area. And this area will be the exact same thing. All right, so here we are in our Z chart, and we're going to be looking for 1.28. So there's 1.2, and we go all the way over to the next to the last value in the 8 position. We get 0 0.3997, 0 0.3997. So this will be 0 0.3997 here, and then of course this is also 0. 3997. Now, if I want to get this tail area, I have to do the 50% of the whole half of the curve, right? The 50% of the whole half of the curve minus this value of 0.3997. So, do a little old school borrowing here just to be able to do the subtraction. 10 minus 7 gives me 3. 9 minus 9 is 0. 9 minus 9 is 0. And then 4 take away 3 is just 1. Carry your decimal point and you get 0.1003 or 10.03%. Now, that's the amount that's in this little tail here. This would have to be the exact same because it's the same subtraction. So this would also be 0.1003. And according to the word or here, to finish this, we need to add these two numbers together. So it'll be 0.1003 plus 0.1003. Now the final answer in that case is going to simply be 0 0.2006.